All right, done. I am just gonna watch like the first little bit and then I'll start talking. Okay, so you have great aim and a really bad habit, just to start off with. We're gonna go up here to make this a little bit more obvious, maybe. Okay, just watch you. All of this time, you're just moving back and forth through open space for absolutely no reason whatsoever. It's not giving you any advantage. It's just making it harder to aim because you're moving around so much. You're just crossing this back and forth, inviting yourself to get shot by just random spam. And all you need to do... Oh, forgot to start my pen. Wow. Nice. All this time, this entire first 30, 40 seconds, you just needed to be standing right here. Hug this corner, peek as far as you need to, done. Just jiggle peek the corner. Peek as far as you want to hit the target you want and no further. Don't peek the entire t enemy team for absolutely no reason. Yeah, nothing happened to you this time. But this is one of those bad habits that gets you punished sometimes. And those sometimes add up into lost fights, lost games. This is absolutely the sort of thing that keeps you out of Masters. Like, your aim looked pretty cracked so far. It's not your mechanics. It's that you're just making your life harder and you're inviting random chance to fuck you up. Take now. ADHP because you just ate some incoming damage. I would ask for orb from your Zen. There you go. I'm glad you didn't load yourself. Which, you know, absolutely nade yourself, but only if you have to. It's just worth too much as the anti nade. Which, that looked pretty good. I want to see something. Okay, you got both tank. Oh no, your tanks are got. They're on his dead, and you just got the Genji, who's one HP. Honestly, I think I hold. I either try to hit this like a split second sooner, so I can get more of them, or I hold it, just like. A second or two longer. Watch this. So, it's all fine, all fine. Boom. I throw it now because of the travel time. Like, or rather, as these bubbles are ending. Let's see. Yeah. Now. Uh. I see, that Zarya bubble. Okay, I missed that bubble the first time through. Yeah, never mind. I don't go early, I just wait. Boom. So, imagine you're still holding your nade. They're gonna push in past here. You don't even have to go into this room. You just peek. As soon as this Rhine walks past, you drop the nade right behind him here. Or, uh... uh bring this over. You know, bounce it off of this thing. Bam. Splash all the people behind them. And that's... And then they get naded as they are engaging on the point. Like, at that point, they can't just wait and stabilize. If they had played this smarter... I mean, they're down there on it anyway. 
Uh, so I guess maybe they're just going to go for a fast reset, but they could ostensibly back into here and stabilize and then push because that nade was a little bit too early. Your team can't really aggress on it right now. Alive, which is great, but again, you're crossing. I mean, I guess that was okay. You're going for the sleep, but what did that sleep get you? Other than now, you don't have either of your cooldowns that sleep or that nade. Uh, you might have just well, you're probably gonna nano your Rhine, but like, why take this fight right now? You're defending, you want to bleed time off the clock, you want them to take as much time as you can force out of them walking up into here and then when they have overcommitted and your Rhine is like half health you nano him and suddenly he's full health and nanoed and they can't back up and then you've wasted a lot of more time off the clock and you've won the fight uh but even before that like shooting the early sleep before anyone can follow up on it like what if this asshole comes for you like you want you want your sleep in case they try to dive you uh yeah it's super early but like even still why not wait until the dart's gonna have some impact all you did was like somebody slept for four seconds try to get more value off of your cooldowns and also don't just eat both of them if you if you truly feel that you just have plenty of time, like here, eat one of them. But like, that nade, what does that nade get you? You already have your ultimate, you don't need ult charge, no one can follow up if it lands on anyone, and like, it didn't even land on anyone. The only reason to choose Ana over Bap right now is her anti-nade. It's like the only thing she does that he doesn't do better. Uh, he does more damage, more healing. Ana can deny healing from the enemy team. That's your carry play. You have a low-key ultimate on a 12-second cooldown. You don't want to waste it like this. You really want to get value for it. Uh, and it's not just being, like, don't hold it forever looking for something massive. What's important is the timing. You want to land the anti uh, on people who, like, it's to confirm kills. So land the ante on people who you're trying to confirm the kill on. Nano boost, question mark? I'm not sure what the question is. Okay, crossing a bunch of open space, taking damage for it. That was, see, that was good. That was good timing for the ante. You kept your sleep. That Ryan got melted despite beat. That was good. You rotate up to keep an eye on everyone. Now you're rotating back because the respawns are coming. Except your team's staying there, so you know you're helping them out. This is all good. That was too early. Like, yeah, you hit it, but. Ostensibly, you could say that one was just for the ult charge. If that's your thought process, okay, but like, now it's too early. And look, now you don't have nade for that. Yeah, you guys got dragon, but like, you didn't contribute to that fight. Your, your team won that one without you. You really want to hold, like, either throw it so early you know you're going to get it back, or wait until you have a good opportunity to land it, yeah? Too early. Eat your abilities. And now you're crossing open space and they just windowed. You so easily could have died there. Everyone's fallen over. Okay. 
Good job, get now. You hear the soldier. Good attempt. So, yeah, you need to back up. There you go. So here you're just, you're in main. You're in open space main. Right around. Your, your pathing really needs some work. You always, like if somebody, you got people popping up all over the place right now. Somebody pops up on you, you don't have time to get to any kind of cover. So like, whatever your pathing plan is right now, run along walls and corners. So you're just always on a corner that you can hide behind. Yeah? If you're crossing over here, then like cross completely and hug this wall as you're coming up. Boom. Walking up from over here is just peeking more of this space that you have no reason to peek right now. Hello. Hello there. Well, you're going to be okay. Oh, good attempt. I thought you were in Trank by then, too. You hit the sleep just a touch early. Uh, it's a lot easier to land it if you uh, uh, wait until they dash on you. Not like after they dash, but like hit it during the dash. You gotta kind of time the wind up, but like it would be about right now that you would start the wind up and then they dash into you, so they collide with the dart as they're coming in. But so close to this trank. Oh, yep, unlucky. Yeah, and like again, what would that sleep have gotten you? Like, the Genji was absolutely going to deflect it. If you didn't see the Genji and you were trying to sleep somebody across the bridge, which is what I think you were going for. So like a lot of people could die on this bridge because of this monkey, so you really want to wait on that sleep and land it. Like be just a little bit more patient with them when they matter that much. It's, it might seem a little bit counterintuitive, you might think like it matters I gotta hit this fast, but if it matters that much that you hit it, hit it. And now you're all alone. Okay, you got your drunk rat. Open space. There you go. Open space. Look how low you are. You, you are so lucky. You should be dead right there. 76 HP crossing in front of uh, open space like that. In front of the window, I should say. Uh... I would have made it to myself a lot sooner than that. If you can get one shot by somebody, you need to nade yourself. Like, if you are crossing open space against the window, 76 HP. Nano boost versus window? Oh, did I like say the wrong thing? I like the unscopes, but like, you're just jumping up and down in open space. What is the jumping getting you? 
what is all this open space getting at? Other than, like, risk. Jumping makes it easier for hitscan to hit you. Like, every time you jump, the soldier, like... I mean, he's kind of tracking anyway, but... You're jumping against a bap and a soldier with a mercy. See? You hit it with the dash there? That was great. Oh, if Nano is better than Window because you said Nate is the only thing that's better about Ana? Oh! I mean, I guess Nano... I would call Nano better than Window, but... In terms of her basic kit... And, like, it's... Both old units have the ability to swing a fight. Like, it's not an insanely drastic difference. Good nade. Good. Yep, last fight, might as well. Yeah, your aim is cracked. You yeet your abilities. Uh, your nades need better timing more consistently. Uh, and the biggest thing is you need to play corners and paths so much better. Like, you need to avoid open space like this, like the plague. Uh, like, in Diamond, you get away with it a lot. You will not get away with it in Masters. I'm surprised you get away with it in Diamond, and the only reason you do is because your aim is cracked. Like, you're just out mechanicing people, but starting at an inherent disadvantage. To be at the rank that you are right now. Remove that disadvantage and you climb. <laughs>